140 pounds, and right now you're looking at the number one ranked wrestler in the country, Kyler Sanderson from Utah, three-time state champ, 167 career victories, and a very, very famous brother. And he'll be up against the unranked and very surprising Clay Tucker from Martins Ferry High School in Ohio, a state champ as a junior. He comes in with a record of 163 and nine. On paper, Ed, this is a mismatch. I mean, Kyler, number one in the country. Tucker from Martins Ferry, Ohio, a Division III state champ as a junior, was sixth this year as a senior, though obviously he was battling mono at the time. He's obviously recovered. <laughs> <laughs> Rather well. I mean, you just don't walk into these finals. Yeah, you may win a round or two, and even that would be impressive, but you're in the finals. You beat some good kids to get here. He's had an impressive tournament, uh, winning several decisions over tough opponents. Sanderson with a two-point takedown, double leg. He had a brother, I think, that did pretty well, too. Sanderson? Actually, he had or Tucker. <laughs> a couple of them. Sanderson. Actually, Sanderson had three older brothers, all wrestled college, uh, all Americans, I believe. Of course, the most famous one was uh, undefeated all four years. Quite a legacy to live up to. Tucker from Martins Ferry, Ohio, which is along the Ohio River near Steubenville in East Liverpool. There they wrestle. It's, it's a little bit like going back in a time capsule there. They wrestle tough old fashioned wrestling. They're, they're hard nosed, tough kids. And uh, Tucker has been a dominant figure in that area for the last four years. Well, you know, there's something to be said about that because that means he's used to winning. And sometimes that's a good quality that you can beat a better kid. Well, he's beaten five of the kids already here this tournament. And he's had a tremendous, tremendous tournament no matter what happens here. It would be nice. Ohio needs a victory desperately here for the team situation. They lost at 103 and New York won at 125. It just about is out of the cards here. There was another shrug. That's all that was, just an offside shrug. And uh, Tucker, you know, turning out, but Sanderson pretty much letting him go. 4-2. Ohio does have three more finalists after this one, Brian. Yeah, but they're going to have to not only win, but maybe even. There's going to be two more right here. He's in. He's got it all. Yes, sir. It's a good call. Just a simple low leg. You know, Sanderson doesn't look like a, a very big for his weight. You know, not a overwhelming physique, but he's a very good wrestler. Well, I think the reason for that is that Tucker is huge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I saw Sanderson in the other rounds. He looked plenty big enough, but. Tucker is just a very, very big 140-pounder, and man, the period will end with uh, Sanderson's three takedowns, giving him a 6-3 to three advantage. Three-time state champ overall. Had an opportunity to see him in uh, Reno Tournament of Champions, and, you know, he just dominated there. He, he just looked so good. Now, this may surprise you, but he's going to Iowa State. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> He had the one tough match in about the first or second round here at the uh, National High School Championships. Had to go into overtime to win. Yeah, that was uh, Rose of Pennsylvania, a double A kid who, um, boy, that was just, I just happened to watch that one. That was really, really a great bout. But you'll, you'll see that. I mean, that's what happens in the NCAAs, the local state tournaments, a really nice uh, reshot there. Tucker tried to funk him. Sanderson just let it all go, recaptured it, the waist and arm and got another two. And makes it 8-4 right now. Interesting to see what Sanderson decides to do in the third period if it gets that far in that I think Tucker, had he not been fairly far behind, would have preferred to be on top. Exactly. And and Sanderson having his choice, you know, I don't want to say any anything that maybe the coach would know better than me. I would never take bottom because you could give that kid his one opportunity of of top being his best position. Right, right, you don't know what he does on top, and there's no sense giving him a chance. That's you got you got to be scared to death of that. 8-5 right. now, Sanderson. And he's done quite well on his feet. Yeah, he has all the takedowns. In, in typical Sanderson form, nothing real fancy. He doesn't have throws. He doesn't have a lot of uh, different stuff. He's real basic, but he goes with confidence and he gets what he goes for. Tucker's got a younger brother at wrestles, a freshman. Very oh, my. 
That makes it 8-7. Sanderson taking a, a double leg shot, and I don't think he had his heart in it. And uh, just took a lazy shot. Tucker threw the arm over, went behind. Here it is. Lazy shot, just threw the arm over, real nice. He Two could have points. been thrown for four there. Exactly, had he had that arm tighter, he could have been thrown right to his back. But smart enough, just bailed out. And now we have an 8-7 match, which Tucker just had one little spurt and he's right in this. He wants to hold on here for another 14 seconds. And he's going to do it. It'll be eight to seven at the end of two periods. I'd go neutral here. Well, his dad- So much for what we know. <laughs> his father dad. in the corner ruled otherwise, I believe. Dad knows best. Whoa. There's, there's one, there's a two count. There is a two count. Maybe Filer didn't know best there. 9-8 now for Tucker. And now he's getting a little bit of confidence going. Boy, what a turnaround here. You just don't know. I, that top guy scares the living crap out of me. There's the there it is. Sanderson looking just a bit tired here too. He does See, look a little winded. He's, he's trailing that arm coming up. He just Tucker. wants that escape because he knows he can take him down. Illegal head scissors. And that'll tie it at nine. Just a minute 20 to go. I'm not sure what uh, Mr. Sanderson's arguing He was, he was there. saying something about loss of control. I think he was asking. Uh, oh, for neutral? Okay, that's, yeah. that's a decent request. Won't it, get it, but. I don't think he was questioning the referee's judgment. Of course not, but just asking a question. I'm thinking this all could have been avoided if Sanderson had just taken neutral. <laughs> One minute. The Tuckers. Yep. Always tough for Martin's various two cousins were state finalists in Ohio. All small school. This is Division Three in our state, the smallest that we have. Sanderson oh, is making the mistake of trailing an arm, and, and there's Tucker. He's dogging that arm. Sanderson's going to peel. He's going to pull the other arm and try to tilt him the other way. 40 seconds now. Now Tucker's tough on top. He's yeah. not. He's not going to cut him. He's going to grind him down here. Crowd into this one. Tucker, of course, a huge underdog. As I said at the beginning, on paper, this wasn't a match. Thank goodness we didn't wrestle on paper, huh? <laughs> it's one of the best ones of the night. There, that was that was the move. Beautiful move by Sanderson there. That's, makes it 10-9. Sanderson got the jump and just had a quick turn in. Absolutely great. Real nice shot there. Uh, God, head was in, and uh, Tucker took a good one. He took a great shot to the face. Ten nine Sanderson, and maybe that penalty point's going to be the decider. That could be. Last ten seconds. He's really going all out attacking him here. Well, I'll give Tucker credit. He's wrestled a tremendous match. And Sanderson has too, clearly. All the credit in the world. Both boys. And I'm sure Sanderson, oh. And that's it. Got him stumbling. Fans really clapping for this one. They appreciate the effort by both boys. Tyler Sanderson, the winner, 10-9. Good look at the last of the Sanderson brothers going to Iowa State.